Con el CIA CF5, let's going to correct yesterday's work when we were looking at a division, four digits number by one digit number, and all of my thousands value, yeah, all the digits from my thousands column, they were all multiples from my divisor. Now, the problem was that when you went to your hundreds, they were numbers that they were smaller, so you had to do something special there. Let's go to correct our work from yesterday and let's going to find it out. So we start with the first one, which is six divided by three. Two times three is six. Now I have two divided by three. Well, two is not on my three times table, it's smaller than three. So I will need, I cannot do that, is zero, zero times three, is three is zero sorry and we carry that two to make a 27 27 on my three time table yeah nine nine times three is 27 three one one times three is three let's going to go to my next one nine it is a multiple from three so my three time table and i get nine by time in three times three is nine now I go to my hundreds, two, no, zero times three is zero, I carry them to, to my next value, 23, is 23 on my three time table, well it's not, the closer one is seven times three is 21, 22, 23, so I carry two and I make a 21, 21 is on my three time table, we just say it, seven times three is 21, okay? Let's going to go for the next one. Eight is on my four time table. Two times four is eight. Three is not on my four time table. Seven zero times four is zero. So I carry that three to make it 38. 38. Well, I know that nine times four is 36. 37, 38. So I carry two. 28 is on my four time table and I get in it by time in four times four, seven times four is 28. Okay, let's going to go for the next one. Three is on my three time table. I get it by time in two times three is six. One is not on my three time table, it's smaller. So I will do a zero. Zero times three is zero. So I need to carry it to my next value. 10. 10 is not on my three time table. The closer one is when I times three times three, nine to 10, one. So I carry one. 18 is on my three time table and I get 18 by timing six times three is 18. Okay, it's going to go for the last one. One times five is five. I can get zero by timing zero times five is zero. Eight. Can I get eight? No, the closer one, because it goes five, 10. So the closer one is five. One times five is five, six, seven, eight. I carry three with me and I make 35. 35 on my five time table, seven. Seven times five is 35. Is it? Yeah? Okay, right. So I think that we are going to start now with our lesson of today, where we are going to still be dividing some four digits number by one digit number. So we've seen that when my hundred value, we've seen when my thousand was a multiple of my divisor, and then when my hundred value was smaller, we've seen that we have to put a zero and then carry it, that tens, to my next value and make a different number. So let's go to see what happens if I get something like this. Okay, so I start straight away on my divisions. As you know, we start with my highest value. My, va my highest value on a four digit number is my thousand ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. So I need to start with my thousands. Two divided by three. I cannot do that. Why? Because two is smaller. So what we are going to be looking at today is at 
all the divisions where my thousand digit is smaller than my divisor. What do I need to do? Easy. Same as yesterday. The only thing is that we will start with a zero. Zero times three is zero. So I need to carry my two to my next value. I have now 21 on my 100. 21. Is 21 on my three time table? It is. Seven times three is 21. Now I go to my next value, which is my tens. Nine. What number times three is nine? Three. Three times three is nine. And then I go to my ones. Is six on my three time table? Two. Two times three is six. Okay? Really simple, isn't it? Let's going to do another one. Shall we do these ones, these ones together? So the only thing that is different today, and that's why you were saying yesterday you were finding it quite easy, because we're going slowly just by looking at different types of divisions that we can find. When my thousand is bigger than my divisor, when my thousand is a multiple than my divisor, or when my thousand, like today, is smaller than my divisor. Okay? So let's go through this one together. Can you get your pen or your pencil, whatever you use? Hopefully, it's a pencil. It's going to divide 2583 by 3. And let's going to divide by 5. Let's going to divide 4265. Okay, let's go to do it. We start with my highest value, which is my, yep, my thousand. Now what happened here, I know straight away that two is smaller than three. So I'm not going to be able to do that. Zero times three is zero. So it's the same as putting a zero and carrying it to my next value. 25, is 25 on my three time table? Well, it's not, but what is the closer though? 24. 8 times 3 is 24. To 25, 1. Is 18 on my 3 time table? It is. What time 3 is 18? Well done. 6 times 3 is 18. Then I go to my last one, 3. It is on my 3 time table, 1 times 3 is three okay really easy isn't it let's going to go for my next one and again four is smaller than five so i'm going to carry it and i'm going to make 42. it's 42 on my five timetable well i know that the multiples from five and on zero and on five so no but the closer will be 40 between 40 and 45 the closer will be 40. how do i get 40 8 times 5 is 40, 41, 42, so I carry 2, it's 26 on my 5 time table, no, because it ends on 0 or on 5, so the closer will be 25, hmm, how do I get 25, 5 times 5 is 25, to 26, 25, 26, 1, 15, is 15 on my 5 time table? 3 times 5 is 15. Really easy, really simple. Let's going to have two for you to do. We correct it together and you're ready to do your work. Okay. Your exercises today are going to be... Let's going to divide by 4. 3,368. And let's going to divide by six, 5,646. Okay, have a go at it. As soon as you have corrected, as soon as you have finished it, play the video again and then we correct it together. Go for it. Okay.
Okay, let's go to start marking it. So remember that what we've seen today is the same four digits number divided by one digit number. My thousand column is going to be smaller. So that means that I'm going to have a zero. Zero times four is zero. So I'm going to carry that three and make a 33. 33 on my four time table. No, the closer is 32. Now I get 32 by timing 8 times 4 is 32 to 33, 32, 33. 1. 16 on my 4 time table. 4 times 4 is 16. 8 on my 4 time table. 2 times 4 is 8. 842. It's going to go for the last one. Five. Well, I know that this is smaller, so that means that it is going to go to my next value. I cannot do it. 56 on my six time table. Mm, my closest is nine times six is 54. 55, 56. So I carry one, I carry two with me. 24 on my Six time table. It is four times six is twenty four. Six on my six time table. It is one times six is six. Really simple. I hope you all had them correctly and then you haven't got any trouble today doing your work. If you struggle or you need anything, just let me know if you need my help. Okay. Adios.